Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So today we are going to discuss about one of the important capability offered by Microsoft Defender for Endpoint, which is web protection. So this web protection made up of three important categories. One is web threat protection and custom indicators and web content filtering. So in web threat protection, you can get the detailed view of your web threats that's affecting your organization from one portal. And this helps you to do a lot more investigations over web related activities. And also it will give you the detailed view of how the malicious URLs are accessing your locations. So when you come to the uh, custom indicator, we have something called indicator of compromise and which have uh, you can either uh, block or audit your file hashes or your certificates, IPs and URLs and domains. So all these will come under the indicator of compromise. Uh, but specific about your IPs and URL that plays a a crucial role for your web protection capability. Uh, it have ability to create a low block or even warn policies about the suspicious or malicious IPs and URLs and domains. And the third one is the web content filtering. That's our topic today. And I'm going to do the demo on this web content filtering. So this web content filtering includes the users to prevent from accessing the websites in blocked categories. For example, uh, you want to block all the social media access in your environment. In that case, you can go to the category and enable the policy and all the devices will be blocked to access the, uh, the social media uh, websites. But in some case, you might also want to allow the social media access on some certain devices that is important for your uh, business. So in that case, the web content filtering can be targeted to the device group. For example, you want to block one category for one set of device and the same category should be allowed in the other set of device. Yes, it is possible in the web content filtering policies. So. So these three, the web threat protection and your uh, custom indicator and web content filtering, it work in a precedence level. Like what I mean is uh, you create a policy in web content filtering and you create a policy in a custom indicator and you have a web threat, action, web threat protection policy as well. So in this case, always your custom indicator policy will take precedence over other policies. That is one important factor uh, that we should keep in mind before we create the policies. So anyway, uh, this uh, web content filtering, which is for our discussion today, how to turn this feature on in the uh, Defender portal. So let me log on to my uh, Microsoft security Defender portal. So I'm in Microsoft 365 Defender portal. If you go to the settings section and if you access the endpoints and you click on the uh, advanced features. So here you will see the list of features available and here you can see the option called web content filtering. You can toggle on this uh, button and if you click save preferences then you are done. So your web content filtering is turned on in your or defend the tenant. So now, uh, how to configure the uh, policy in the portal? So similarly, you will be uh, accessing your Defender portal, settings, endpoint, and under rules section, there is an option called web content filtering. So here I can create the policy. I have already created one policy for a testing purpose. Uh, so let me click on add policy here and just uh, type the name uh, I want to give, an, give for my policy. So here there are predefined list of categories are available. 
for example the adult content category is available and your high bandwidth category legal liability so all these categories are available uh, predefined and uh, you can choose uh, for example if you want to block all the adult content categories in your environment yes you can choose all the option or else you want to go with only uh, the selected adult content category for example you want to block only the gambling under the adult content that is also possible and once you do this you can uh, once you decided which category you are going to block and which category you are going to do audit uh, and one more thing uh, if you don't uh, select any any of uh, these category still it get audited but the category you have selected will get blocked so now i am going to click next and here you can target this uh, policy to the machine groups which is created in your defender portal so if you note noted down here i am seeing only the device group which is available from my m365 defender portal i am not seeing any intra id or azure ad groups so it means your web content filtering can be targeted to your or uh, machine groups which is uh, available in your 365 defender portal so i am going to select win 11 that is my uh, uh device group click on next and everything seems to be okay and going to click submit if i if i click submit the policy will get created but i'm not going to click submit now since i have already the policy is available the reason is uh, if you create the policy and it is going to take at least uh, i mean up to 2 hours to get effective in your target endpoint so i have a uh, uh, created policy already and i'm uh, blocking uh, only the uh, gambling category under the adult content so now uh, i have the policy ready and i have targeted to my uh, uh, target machine now i want to validate whether this policy is working or not is it so let me log on to the uh, target uh, work endpoint so here i am going to uh, access the uh, the gambling uh, website so if i uh, log on to this uh, portal and you will be getting a message saying this this content is blocked by your organization so now uh, if you notice noted down here uh, this uh, you are getting this message from your defender smart screen so this is one of the prerequisites for your uh, uh, for your web content filtering your uh, defender smart screen should be enabled and the network protection also should be enabled in your uh, tenant uh that to the network protection should be enabled in block mode so uh now let me uh, uh show you the difference between the web content filtering and your uh custom indicator for example i have created the one of custom indicator policy under urls and domain and i i want to uh, block the facebook.com Uh, in my uh, target uh, endpoint uh, for my testing, so I have created a, a, a URL slash domain uh, here, and and I have made the uh, action as block execution. Uh, so here I I want to test whether this my uh, indicator is uh, working as expected. For this, I am going to uh, open the new tab and uh, try going to try to access the. facebook and if i log on to the facebook and here you it will show this website is blocked by your organization so if you notice here it is coming from your microsoft security for itself okay so this is the difference uh, when you access uh, when when the block is happening from your uh, web content filtering or when the block is happening from your uh, custom indicator so always remember whatever policies that you are creating in indicator will take precedence over the web content filtering policy so in web content filtering policy uh, if you have uh, one policy to audit certain category and another policy uh, you have created to block the same category in that case in web content filtering always block category will take the precedence over the audit policy so let's uh, go to the report section and see how uh, the reports get are getting generated for this uh, web threat protection
So for this, I'm going to the report section in the Defender portal. And under endpoint, you will be have multiple threads, predefined threads uh, reports are available. And I'm going to click on the web protection. So here it will give the, uh, the detailed uh, visual of your the web landscape that is happening on your environment. So it gives a web thread summary, how many attempts made to access the uh, malicious URL and how many web requests has happened and uh, how many blocks happen in your uh, web content filtering. So if you click on the details uh, tab, it will directly take you to the, uh, the respective uh, categories and you should be able to see the more detail about uh, uh, the content. For example, in my uh, category, the gambling, uh, I have 16 requests made and all the 16 requests got blocked. So similarly, you can also uh, use your uh, KQL query to run the uh, report uh, to uh, understand to, uh, to do the, to do your uh, investigation on the uh, web, protection, web protection. So I'm going to run this uh, query uh, and it will generate a result and here also I should be able to see the detail about uh, my block which happened on the uh, target endpoint. For example, this particular one, my Microsoft Edge browser blocked the gambling.com site and, at, and it given me the timestamp as well. So uh, this is how you can uh, access the report uh, and thank you so much for watching this video and I will uh, come up with the next informative content on my next video. Thank you. Have a great day.